Hello YouTube, my name is Daniel and today I'm going to be showing you how we can download files from an S3 bucket onto an Android device and also list the files and delete the files. So in the last video I showed you how we can upload files to an S3 bucket with this application. So we can go here, select a file from the phone and then upload it to a bucket. Now I've created this gallery activity which will list the files inside of our S3 bucket. So these are the file names and also the size of the file. We can then download them. This will then start downloading the files onto the device. And then we have the status here, saying the files and then the um, size. And then once the files are downloaded, it populates this grid recycler view with the images from those files. So you can see here all the images that are in that bucket. We can then click on the image. It will tell you the image name and it will give you the option to delete this image from the S3 bucket. And then we just click yes. And then we'll remove it from the view and then delete it from the bucket. Um, this won't delete it from the actual phone, but you can um, code that in yourself. So let me just go through and show you how all of this works. If you guys are following along with this project, just to let you know, you will need this um, Glide dependency here, and this will be used to load our images into our recycler view. So we have the implementation link here and the annotation processor and also the Glide version. I will put um, links to GitHub in the description so you can check out the code um, also. So firstly, I created a data class here called S3 file. So we have the path, which is the actual path of the file, the key, which will be the downloaded name of the file, and then the origin, which is the original name of the file in the S3 bucket. I then created a second activity called the gallery activity. This is the activity that will actually display all the files and allow us to download them. We then have this function here called amplifystorage.list. This is in the documentation I showed you in the previous video, but I will put it in the description. This will list all of the files in my S3 bucket. We're launching a coroutine process here to um, list all of the files in our bucket. So we can see here result.git items for each. And that is using the result here, which we get back from the amplify storage.list function. We're creating two array lists here, one for the original names of the files, and then one for files.txt. This will be the files that we actually place, sorry, this will be the actual list of files we place in the gallery activity. So this will have the file name and also the size of the file appended next to it. Let me just move this along. So we can see here in the files txt list, we're adding the item dot key, so the item name, plus the item size, um, which is the size in bytes. We then divide that um, by a thousand to get us the size in kilobytes, and we then put that next to it, and that's going to be put into our text view. We then just have the list of file names of the files in the S3 bucket, which we'll use later when we download them. And then on the main thread, we update the file list um, text view. So file list text view dot set text. And then we use the files dot txt array list to string. And we get rid of these square brackets here and then replace them with, with empty strings. And then we set it to visible. And then we have the file download button, which we again set to visible to allow the user to actually download the files. We then set an on-click listener for this and we display the progress bar. We then launch another coroutine and then we call this download files function and we pass it the list of files. In the download files function, we get the download folder here and this is the folder that the files will be downloaded into. So we use get external files directory environment dot directory downloads. And then we loop through the list of files. So we're using a for each loop here. So file.foreach. We take the item and we generate a random number. We're going to be using this to append onto the end of the file. So it will download and save under a unique file name. This is just for the UI. Um, 
so you can actually see the process of it downloading each file so it doesn't finish too quickly. So we're just using a thread.sleep for 500 milliseconds. We then have another Amplify Storage module here. So Amplify.Storage download file. And then we then have the item which we pass through in the files list. And this is the file here that we're going to be downloading. So we declare the path, so the download folder, which we get from here, and then slash download, that is the first bit of the name, and then we're just using a random number, which we generate up here, and then we just put .jpg at the end. Um, I know all the files are .jpg, but if some of these are different, you will have to um, work that bit out. We'll then call this, here's the storage download file options .default instance. And then we can log the progress here. And then once this is successful, we briefly call this function here called download progress um, with the file name. And that will update the UI to display the file name. It will say file name downloaded and also the size of the, of the file. Let me just show you that function now. So download progress. You can see it sets the file name text view to visible and then set the text to the file name and then download it. Let's just go back to the function here. And then once it's downloaded, we create a file object here. So S3 file, and then we have the path, which is the result.file.absolute path. And then the key, which is the result.file.name and the origin, which is the original file of the name in the bucket. So the original file name for the file in the bucket, and that is the item. And then we add each file object to the file paths um, S3 file array, which we created earlier. So the, here we go, the array list of S3 file. That's what we're adding each of the file objects to and then print it out to the log. And then we have this if function here. So this if function is gonna check whether our list of S3 objects is equal to the original list that we got passed um, when this function started. So if file pass.size is equal to the file.size. Um, so we've now downloaded the correct number of file objects. We would then run this function here called populate RV. So that is populate recycle review. And then we're going to pass that list of S3 objects. In the populate RV um, function, again we're passing that list of S3 files. We're then going to just put a log just to, just to say that we've got these um, files downloaded. We're then going to make the file name text view gone. So that is the text view which holds the file names. And then also get rid of the progress bar. So we're no longer downloading the files. We don't need to see the progress bar or of the file name text view. We're then going to set up our recycler view. So we have a layout manager here and we're going to use the grid layout manager. We pass in the context, which is this at gallery activity and then the span count, which is the, um, the width of the recycler view. So how many items you're going to have in your recycler view. We're using three. We then set up our adapter, which is called picture adapter. Again, we're passing the context, so this at gallery activity, the list which was given to us at the start of this function, so list here. And then we just pass in the activity, which is gallery activity. And then we're just notifying that the data set has changed. And now I'm just going to show you the picture adapter. So in the picture adapter class, this is a ordinary recycler view. I will link a few videos and guides on how to create one of these, but once you learn how to do it, it is the same for pretty much every, um, every time you're going to use it. So we're going to inflate a layout here called item-dashboard-layout, and that is actually going to be what we use to contain our image. And I will show you the layouts briefly um, in a moment. So I'm going to be using Glide here um, to load the image into the recycler view. So we use glide with context.load file.path and then into our image view, which is holder.itemview.iv 
dashboard item underscore image. So that will load our picture into our image view. And then we set an on-click listener for that holder or for that item view. And then when that item is clicked, we're going to make a toast message just saying the name of the file. And we get the name of the file from the S3 object that we created earlier. So all of the files that we've downloaded, we've put them into an S3 file object. That means we now have access to the key, which is the file name and the path and also the original name of the file. We then create an alert message here. So alert dialog.builder. And then we're going to serve a message here. So it says, do you want to delete this file from this bucket? And then we're just going to say um, positive action. So yes, we want to delete the file. And then we're going to call a function in the activity called delete files. We're going to pass the file on, um, the files to the S3 object the position. And this is the position of the um, item in the recycler view. And then the original list as well. And then in the negative, so the negative button is just dialog dismiss. So it's just going to um, dismiss the dialog and return us back to the main activity. So let me show you now the delete files function. So as I mentioned, this function takes a file, which is an S3 file, the position, so the position of the item in the recycler view, and a list, which is the, the list of um, S3 objects. So array list S3 file. This is just logging up here. And then we have a suspend function. So suspend delete file. And then we have a suspend coroutine here. And this is just used so we can actually um, call something when the file gets deleted. So amplify.storage.remove is the function we're using. We then pass the file.origin. So this is the original name of the file. And then with the result, if that's been successful, we then call this here, so continuation.resume success. So we're just passing a string, just saying um, success, so we know that the deletion was successful. When it's successful, we can see here we're checking for that down here. So if, if delete file, which is the function which deletes the file, if that re returns successful, we then just um, update the recycler view. So with context dispatches.main, so on the main thread, list.remove at position. So what that is doing here is removing that file from the list that got passed to it. So the original list that has all of our recycler view um, or all of our download files in, we then remove that file which we deleted from the bucket from that list. And then we populate the recycler view by passing the amended list. So this is the list with that item removed. And then once the recycler view is updated, you'll be able to see that file um, missing from, from that list. And if you guys wanted to see the layout for this part of the project, um, essentially the recycler view is just an image view here. Um, as mentioned, I will put the code in the description, but this is just a um, a basic layout with an image view, which we will load um, our S3 image into with Glide. I then have the gallery activity. Let's just wait for this to load. So in the gallery activity, we have a title here, which is file list. And then we have some text views, which we will fill up. So this text view will contain the list of files. We then have the progress bar. This is the file download button. So we can see on the other side here. So the progress bar, download button, the text view, which will get updated when we um, download the files. So this will say the file name um, and then just say downloaded. And then we have the recycler view, which gets populated when we actually um, download the files. And that is all of the operations complete. So I will just show you um, a final demo of this. Just go back here. So we have the gallery activity, which is launched from our main activity. Firstly, it automatically goes off and lists the objects in our bucket. So upload file and then the size. So the upload file, that's the, um, the random number. And then the um, file size, so 148 kilobytes. We're then going to download the files. This is the progress bar. 
and then it appends this text view so it downloads all the images and then populates the recycler view. We can then click on these images or browse them and then that gives us the option to actually delete the file. So then we just click yes here and that deletes the file from the S3 bucket and then repopulates the recycler view with the remaining items. So yeah guys, that is the end of this video. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. I will put all of the um, code that I've used in this project um, in my GitHub and post the link in the description, along with any other resources I've used. Please like the video and please subscribe.